coming out of high school, number one ranked player in the state, one of the top of your position in the, in the country, you took that leap of faith with Mark Antonio. Talk about your relationship with him because I know you struggle with making a decision to come out early. I did struggle. It was a really emotional time for me and him when we did it. Uh, I, I, I doubted that sometimes before I made my decision, but I knew that Coach Antonio had my back. And I love Coach Antonio like a father, like a grandfather, like a best friend. Like he, he's a genuine person. And he's always shown that from high school, like when I was a junior when he first started recruiting me, and then all the way till now. Even now today, he even called, he called me when he was on a trip, like on a little vacation talking to somebody, well not vacation, but on a little trip. And he called me just to make sure I'm okay. And like, I love him for that. Like he's a great person. Uh, Coach D is like a father figure to me. Um, you know, he just called me earlier this morning um, just to check on me and um, to see how I was doing, you know. Um, regardless of how, if I left or um, if I stayed, you know, he was always going to be happy for me, a decision I made, because, um, you know, it's my personal decision, and, um, and I do it for a reason, you know. So he always supported me uh, whatever I did, and, um, you know, and I, I'm glad for it. And, um, and I, to have Coach D in my life um, is always something meaningful to me. So, yeah, I love Coach D, man. He's a great coach, and, uh, you know, I just want to thank him. I can't thank him enough for, for the opportunity that he, that he gave me to go to Michigan State. And uh, I'm just very, very thankful for that. And, you know, I'll always keep him in mind. Oh, he means a, a lot. You know, uh, he helped me build my character as a, you know, a young man coming up to college. And, and he helped me just prepare, my, prepare myself for this uh, moment right now. Talk about your relationship, too, with uh, Harlan Barnett, the secondary coach. How much does it help the fact that he also played at this NFL level? Oh, it helps tremendously. Uh, you know, Harlan was a, a great, great, great great coach you know in my eyes a great role model and a great person to look after and look forward to talking to so I know there's been a lot going on since that bowl game have you had a chance to reflect back on your favorite moment as a college player I still got the same favorite moment the first time I walked down the tunnel and I and I was crying like oh my god I finally made it you know so the first time I walked down Spartan tunnel the, the tunnel walking out smoke come out the dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and then hear the, the crowd roar. Yeah, that was the best experience. Like, every time it got me. And then, uh, lastly, what was your favorite part of the Spartan game day experience? Was it the tunnel run out? It was the, when we won, it was the in-room locker room when we did, the, did our little fight song. It was just the, the camaraderie and the brotherhood. Yeah, I still feel like all those guys are my brothers. My favorite moment is probably going into the big house, you know, uh, beating them and, you know, being able to leave out of there four and one against Michigan, that's probably my best moment. Um, it's a lot of moments. Um, you know, you got the Notre Dame my freshman year, um, the Little Giants play. Um, you got Mousetrap, uh, Northwestern. Um, you got the Hail Mary, uh, Wisconsin my sophomore year. I mean, it's so many plays. You got the game winning field goal with Dan Conroy at TCU. Um, you know, so it's, it's so many plays I can look back on and um, in so many years I can look back on and you know, so many practices even. So um, I'm just happy with every moment I had there. Um, you know, now that it's over, you know, I look back on it. They're happy memories and I still love my teammates and everything. So uh, I'm, I'm happy about everything. All the moments we shared together, you know, going to Big Ten championships and winning bowl games and, you know, just the, the atmosphere and the people there, I just, I just love it. Um, you know, I, I'll always be a Spartan and I'll bleed green forever. <laughs>